man, I just stepped on a Lego. Wait, I got an invention for that. And welcome back to Unnecessary Inventions. I have to say that I'm pretty confident that you've stepped on a Lego at one point in your life and it hurt way more than it should have. So I started racking my brain on how exactly I could fix this invention in the most unnecessary way possible. And it came to me. Why not have a pair of socks that have a Lego board on the bottom of your foot? So if you step over one of those Legos walking around your house, it just picks it up with you and you can keep on going. And you'll never have any idea that something happened. So if this is a common daily occurrence for you, there's only one choice but to wear them 24 seven. So let's go talk about the design and figure out how we're gonna bring this idea to reality. So for this project, we're gonna bust out the 3D printer. And my first thoughts is that I'm gonna 3D print a base for our foot, and that is what's gonna have the Lego board, and then somehow the sock is going to attach to that. I did create these in the past, and it is a suction cup shoe. So basically, your foot would go on here, and then you would strap your shoes in. So you know, if you uh, have a hurricane, and you need to stand your ground, suction to the ground and you're good. So I think I wanna make a similar idea to this base plate, except a lot smaller. That would basically just be enough outline for your foot, because this one you had to put a shoe on it and I wanted to have enough extra space around it so that you could fit different types of shoes. So it's gonna have a general look to this, but I'm not exactly sure yet my thoughts of how the sock will attach to that base plate. And we also need to get the exact dimensions of Legos so that when you step on it, it fits into the little pegs on the top. So let's go hop over to my computer and we can start working on what we want that bottom base plate to look like before sending it over to the 3D printer. So the first thing that I wanna do is figure out the dimensions of a Lego brick. I wanna figure out how big those top pegs are, how far apart they are, so that I can make a board that they will all perfectly fit into as if it was something that you purchased in a Lego set or something like that. Dimensions of a Lego brick. Okay, perfect. This is just what I was looking for. This one here is giving us some pretty good dimensions. So it looks like that top piece, 4.8 millimeters. They're eight millimeters apart from the center of the circles and they're 1.7 inches tall. So I'm thinking if I make you a slightly different version of that shoe I showed you, then I put a bunch of the holes to these dimensions, we should be able to step on Lego pieces and pick them up as we walk around. People seem to be really weirded out by feet. I guess I've had a few videos with my feet in them now, but hey people, deal with it. So we'll use this to get the rough shape of my foot and I can measure it with my calipers and know exactly how big I need to make it. Okay, now into fusion. So for this design, I'm basically going to make a bunch of rectangles in varying sizes and then I'm gonna loft them all together and it will create the general shape of what we want and the software will automatically connect all of the rectangles together in the shape that we want. And then I just need to round over all of the corners and that will give us more of a foot design. All right, so this one should be a little bit better to look more like a sole of a shoe. One thing I thought of is that I'll have this outline of the shoe. I'm thinking that if I just add a little bit of a border and we cut a sock, I'll be able to stretch it out over that and attach it. I'm gonna start with this one hole and luckily with this software, I'll be able to just create a pattern that is consistent throughout the entire thing so that the Lego board matches on every dimension. Boys and girls, we have ourselves a board. Now that we have the design all done, I do wanna go ahead and test out that Lego board I made. I just wanna double check that it does fit with actual Lego pieces before I go print the whole thing. So I'm just gonna print like a little two by three and see if the Lego pieces will fit into it based on those dimensions that I used that I found on the internet. So let's go ahead and try that out. We successfully have our first little test print. So one thing that I forgot to mention earlier is that I have had this massive Lego set in my office for probably the past three or four years. I'm not sure when it came out, but it's a pretty depressing story of why I have it. So a few years ago, someone bought me this massive Simpsons Lego set and it's like three or four hundred dollars. So I was putting this together, it was the middle of winter, I was not at the studio, I was somewhere else. And I'm like 10 hours into putting this thing together, 
pretty much finished. I was leaving to come back to Burlington and I'm carrying it to my car and I slip on a patch of ice and just the whole thing goes everywhere. And basically the way that you put it together, I don't know if I lost pieces in the snow, but yeah, it just never saw the light of day again after just smashing into a bunch of pieces. And I've just been too upset or embarrassed to ever try working with it again. However, now it's coming in handy for me to test these out. And it's not working. Hmm, it just doesn't want to seem to go together. I wonder if those dimensions were wrong? Or maybe I just need a little tolerance because of the material we're using. I'm gonna change things up a little bit and then I will do another test. So I got the second little test piece finished up. So what I did was test out two different hole sizes and I made one side curved and one side squared off so I know which one is which. I think the smaller one is still too small. I think it still needs to be a little bit deeper though, but they are still not going in two by two. But they still don't, but they still don't wanna seem to go in two by two. Oh, all right, so you know what? I just realized if I'm changing the sizing and they're still eight millimeters apart, they're going to be too far apart. So I need to compensate for that additional 10th of a millimeter I added and make them seven millimeters apart. Let's go print test number three. The third test is now done. I only printed the bigger hole size and I made them seven millimeters apart. So let us see, oh yeah. I also made these ones a little bit deeper so that they fit a little bit better into the thing. So now that I know that this fits in together, I'm gonna go apply it to the design we made earlier and then I'm gonna send the first half of the sole to the 3D printer and double cross our fingers that that all works on a bigger scale. So now that we have that going on the 3D printer, there's one thing we forgot about. We need a pair of socks. Luckily, there's a place literally one block away from my studio that I think is going to be the perfect place to find the perfect pair of socks for the Lego socks. So let's head out there while that goes on the 3D printer. a store that only sells socks. Go figure. So now that we have our socks, let's go check on the 3D printer. And it looks like the first piece is finished. Let us see how it came out. Look how flexible that is. Time to give it a test and see how well it works with the actual Lego pieces. I think it's looking pretty good so far though. Look how nice and flexible this final piece is. I think it'll be relatively comfortable enough to stand on. I got the perfect Lego piece that I think would hurt like all hell to step on. And so let's see if it attaches. Oh, yep, it attaches. So just imagine walking around your house, stepping on that Lego piece, and you just keep on moving. Nothing to see here, folks. There it is attached to the center, so it will nicely stay on and not go anywhere when you're walking around. So the next step is going to be to get the front half of the sole printed on the 3D printer, and then we'll be able to connect the two together. Let's go hit print on that. We now have the front half and the back half of the Lego board sole. And the way I printed them will help them easily just snap right together into one full sole. Just for a little bit of extra support and durability, I'm gonna slap on some super glue and we'll let that dry and then we'll be able to attach it to the sock. We're gonna let that dry and then we'll move on to the next step. All right, the glue has dried on the footbed. We've got our socks. I think it's time to do some sock surgery, cut these up, and we can attach it to the footbed. And hopefully this invention will be good to go. I don't really know what my game plan is. I think I'm just gonna cut away excess sock and then use clamps to glue it on. I will be right back. 
So I went all five minute crafts on you guys and I busted out the hot glue gun. And, and we have ourselves a Lego sock. Hey! So it's time for a test ride. Okay, let me get the sock on. It's pretty comfortable. And let's see if I can pick up a Lego. Let me find a good Lego to try and pick up. Oh, it picked one up. <laughs> Look at that. So actual functionality, I feel like we're sitting at about a three. However, you actually can't feel the Legos when you're walking on them. So maybe I did pick up a few other ones that I didn't realize that I did because I couldn't feel it, but they didn't stick in. But let's go ahead and cut to a wonderful little commercial for the Lego socks. Another unnecessary invention in the books. I'm gonna go ahead and spend some time off camera printing out the second one, but as always, go check out the official product photos over on Instagram. The Lego socks get an official 10 Lego sculptures that I would never be able to build out of 10. If you absolutely hate stepping on Legos, give this video a thumbs up. And as I always say, smash the subscribe button. That is going to be everything for today, and I will see you at the next invention. See ya!